In this session of Fiery Software Demos, we're going to show you how to create server automated workflows using imposition templates we created in prior sessions. Very easy to do to reduce multiple clicks into one or two clicks and sometimes just drag and drop automation. So I'm going to start by selecting my file, FGS Business Card, and simply go up to Properties where I'm going to set all the properties for the finished print file, including media, color settings, my impost template, and anything else I desire. So by clicking on the media tab, I can come down to the Fiery Media catalog, choose my 12 by 18, 300 GSM glossy stock, which sets that in. Because we created the original template in Impose, I select Impose from the layout menu, drop down my templates, and choose my Fiery Demo 16 up business card. I want to invoke auto trapping on this, so I go into my color settings tab and select auto trapping. And I want to print this file particularly in 1200 dpi, so I go to my image tab. No other settings are necessary to print this file, so before closing out, I go to the upper right hand corner and choose my presets menu, where I can save this preset in one of two ways. By saving as a local preset, the user of this instance of Command Workstation will have access to any of the workflow presets I create. If I want to have users connected to command, any Command Workstation into the engine have access to this workflow preset, I save it as a server preset, which publishes out to everybody who can reach the Fiery and Print engine. I'm going to call this Fiery Demo 16 up. B card 12 by 18 to identify it, save it as a server preset. So before applying it to this file, I'm going to cancel out of here, show you three ways to interact with this file to automate the workflow. I can drop the file into the hold queue in Command Workstation, right click, and apply the workflow by selecting it from the drop down menu. I can apply it on importing the file the traditional way by using the file importing command workstation, choosing my business card, and going ahead and choosing the template from command workstation in the server presets area. Or my favorite way, because I like to drag and drop files into command workstation, is to go to the folder where the original file exists. and drag and drop it into the automated workflow. So we'll choose business card. And upon dragging files into Command Workstation, now you will see areas darken up called drop zones. Each area in Command Workstation has a unique drop zone. The held queue, upon dropping files in, will drop the file right into the hold queue. If I know that the printing presets are optimal for this file, I can simply process it and drop it into the processed or printing queue. But for applying the automated workflow, I'll drop it into the individual server that has the workflow. From there, I get choices of which workflow I want to apply. I can hover over my workflows to identify them. This one's the Fiery Demo 16 up business card. I choose this one. Upon bringing the job in, I can process, hold it, so I can soft proof it before actually sending it off to the printer, thereby automating all the settings of this 16 up imposed business card to simple drag and drop operation. Upon selecting the ripped file in Command Workstation, you can see that all my settings have been correctly applied, and I can now go off and drag it right off to the printing queue.